Powered by the Montana Television Network. The 530 News continues on KPAX, Montana's news leader. One student is dead, three others injured after a shooting at a high school near Spokane this morning. Officials say the shooter is in custody. Police responded to Freeman High School. It's out in Rockford, south of Spokane, around 10 this morning. Spokane Fire Chief Brian Schaefer says the person in custody was the only shooter, but the identity or age has not been released. Three other students were transported to a nearby hospital, but are said to be in stable condition. Schaefer says parents rushed to meet their children at the school. State patrol troopers escorting them to a meeting point. Uh, again, neither the victim, uh, I, the identity of the victim or the shooter have been released at this time. Montana Republicans are getting ready to challenge U.S. Senator John Tester in the 2018 election, but Republicans are a long way from picking their nominee to challenge Tester. And that could set up quite a showdown. MTN's Mike Dennison has a look at what looks like a hard-fought primary battle. Nine months from now, Republicans will choose their challenger for Democratic U.S. Senator John Tester. And five men already are hard at it, trying to convince voters they're the one. We're early in the game. I mean, I would say that we're probably in the second or third inning. And what we're seeing is, is people jockeying for position, traveling the state uh, uh, back and forth, uh, really trying to drive that name recognition. That's State Senator Al Oshesky from Kalispell. He was the first Republican officially in the race, starting in April. He's since been joined by Big Sky businessman Troy Downing, Belgrade business owner Ron Murray, and State Auditor Matt Rosendale. And then there's State District Judge Russell Fagg of Billings. He formed an exploratory committee, is raising money, and says he's the best person to defeat Tester, but that he hasn't decided yet whether to run. Rosendale is the likely frontrunner among Republicans, given his status as a statewide office holder. He's picked up endorsements from conservative D.C. groups and says he has a record of tackling tough issues in the state Senate and as state insurance commissioner. When Matt Rosendale walks in the room, they know he means business. And I don't procrastinate, I don't kick the can down the road. We make a decision based on good information, and then we move forward. Yet Olszewski and Murray say voters are looking for something different than establishment politicians. It's finally time to find out, okay, who's going to be a candidate that's going to really represent the people? Uh, that is, that's, that's great that some of these candidates have these high-name politicians coming out for them. I'm not looking for that. Murray, who owns a dog kennel and two other businesses, has been crisscrossing the state, talking to voters and posting videos on his Facebook page. Olszewski is an orthopedic surgeon and says his life experiences make him a good counterweight to Tester. My strengths that trump all of them is the fact that, yes, I am an active physician, I'm a, a state legislator, and I am a veteran that can combine all three of those uh, components and those issues in a compassionate